Hello. Today we're going to be looking at this Gateway Performance 1000 from 2001. Uh, I recently purchased it on eBay and uh, I've been trying to get into the vintage and retro PC again. Um, at least the ones from my childhood, the ones that I can remember. And this is one of them. I didn't specifically own one or my family did not own one, but my friend next door did and I vividly remember <laughs> Just the case, this gray piece here, the gray piece up top, um, Pentium 3, and most importantly, the, the DVD ROM drive back in the day I thought was so cool having in your PC. Um, our family PC was a Proteva <laughs> branded PC from QVC that my grandma purchased. Uh, it had a Pentium 2, 350 megahertz, and I did a bunch of stuff to it, a bunch of upgrades, at least that I could have at the time being, uh, pretty young. Um, those are kind of hard to come by. There's one on eBay right now, but it's in horrible shape, so I'm, I'm not going to purchase it. Um, but I did find this one, and it's pretty dang clean. And, uh, you know, some yellowing here and there, but uh, overall it's pretty clean. It had your normal amount of uh, dust inside of the case, you know, being a typical uh, thing from back in the day. Um, I've cleaned it all out. We'll still go inside and look at it, but um, the plan is to kind of explore how it came, which um, I'm pretty sure the seller uh, put a stock image back on it. Uh, and then we will be putting Windows XP on it because I feel like that is what would have been done back in the day. Um, I have a few other things as well for it. So a new in box, Netgear, Gigabit, and NIC uh, to replace the 10100 links, this one that's in here. Um, We'll be putting Windows XP on this MSATA to IDE um, adapter. We'll see if the, the MSATA SSD works. It's been sitting around my house. It came from an old laptop. And then, most importantly, would be my copy of Windows XP Pro that I've somehow managed to keep in my possession over the past, uh, I don't know, 20 or so years. I'm pretty sure my friend burned this for me uh, in the early 2000s. I'm, that's, that's his handwriting. Um, I've somehow managed to not lose it and we're going to see if it still works. Uh, the case is, or I'm sorry, the CD is pretty scratched up. So I don't know. We'll see. If it doesn't work, I'll find another copy. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Old uh, photos and uh, magazine articles, which is pretty cool. It's dirty, but uh, I'll clean it. Came with your standard Microsoft mouse from back in the day. Uh, not the original mouse to the PC, but whatever. Here's the PC itself. It yellowed, but overall in pretty good shape. Turn it around to the back. So like I said, it's a Performance 1000. Uh, looking at Gateway's website from back in the day. Um, they had a few different models. Some of them looked the same like the select version of this. Um, then this model, since it came out so late, so March 10th, 2001, Windows XP was introduced, I think later on in 2001. Uh, you could get this with either the Pentium 3 or the Pentium 4 with Windows XP. Um, at least uh, from my research. Um, it would have been like a performance 1300 if you had the P4 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, this one's a Pentium 3 1 gig gigahertz, uh, which is pretty cool. I think it's a good uh, sweet spot. Standard ATX motherboard. It does have a early Radeon graphics card, which I don't know if it was, came with or not. I think these came with like NVIDIA cards, so we'd have to take a look. I doubt this is the original one because it has DVI. Um, Sound Blaster Live value. This is the Linksys 10100 NIC, uh, Firewire, and your modem, which you needed to have back in the day. Uh, and the coolest thing about this case, before I forget, is how to open it. So there's no thumb screws, which were becoming more um, common back in the you know back in the 2000s. Um, you got these latches, which are kind of hard to operate, and I feel like I'm going to break them every time I do because they're just plastic, but um, if you lift up on it, you can see the case start to separate. And then you push down. There we go. 
and it just comes right off. So let's put that down here. All right, so the inside. Sorry, there's shadows. Uh, the the lighting's not the best down here. Um, but like I said, this case is pretty dang clean. And besides having some dust in it, when it arrived, you know, I sprayed it all out with my air compressor. Uh, it's not that bad. And hopefully you can see, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, like I said, Pentium 3 has a 40 gigabit, or sorry, <laughs> gigabyte uh, Western Digital uh, hard drive. Still seems to be operating okay. Uh, here's the Radeon graphics card, which I'm trying to research more, um, but I think it's like the R100 or RV100 maybe. Uh, I got to look into it more. Um, but yeah, you're pretty standard PC at the time. Um, definitely has some upgrades done to it. There's 500, 512 megabytes of uh, RAM. I think these came standard with 64, but you know, you could customize these. They, they were all pretty much built to spec uh, from back in the day. Um, this one happens to have 512 megabytes uh, and two 256 sticks. Um, so that's nice to have. Don't have to worry about trying to find memory for it. But uh, yeah, let's uh, fire it up. We'll see what Windows ME has going on. Not much. And then we will get Windows XP installed and see how well, uh, how well it works. We are back. Uh, Windows XP is finally installed on this, which took me forever. Problem after problem. Um, but I think it did boil down to this adapter in the end. So anyway, so I put the other adapter back in. I uh, had to do some weird stuff with um, swapping different Windows XP disk during the setup when I couldn't find the file. I don't know. Either way, I got it to finally install. And um, now we are updating as much as we can. Um, I ended up installing this off camera uh, just because I didn't have my phone with me. So this is installed. This was another pain in the butt to, to figure out with the driver. Did not want to install the driver for the longest time. Uh, I ended up pulling out the Linksys card that was in it, putting in the Netgear, um, wouldn't work, <laughs> and then uh, move some stuff around in the PCI slots, put the Linksys card back in, put the Netgear card in, restarted, uh, and then it found two Ethernet controllers, um, even though it had the drivers for the Linksys installed before now all, all of a sudden they're not there but um i had to just search for the drivers it, themselves and it finally found them after maybe 10 tries so um so that's working now i'm on legacy update getting all the updates that i can uh but man what a pain in the butt getting all this done So the plan from here on out is to make this a sort of a decent gaming PC uh, from back in the day. Uh, I think, you know, the Pentium 3 is not the best, but we'll make do. So this is installing or updating and um, we'll go from there. All right, we're back and um, it's been, a, I don't know, maybe a week. And um, so in the last clip, Windows XP is installed and uh, it's all updated. Um, I've played one game on it so far, Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's been about it. Um, and because I can't leave, you know, anything alone, I ended up buying this on eBay. So what we have here is a ATI uh, Radeon. 9600 uh, XT, 128 megabyte uh, GPU. So 
uh, I figured this would be um, probably one of the, not the best uh, upgrades, but for this period, you know, early 2000s, I think that card is more than enough for this thing, especially with it just being a Pentium 3. So uh, it doesn't really make any sense to go, I think, any higher than that one. And, um, you know, that within my, like, hour of research <laughs> as to what GPUs are decent, um, I think that made the most sense. I spent, uh, this was uh, 20 bucks plus, like, $10 in shipping. We'll see if it works. Um, I got the drivers downloaded to my uh, NAS, and then we will get those uploaded or copied over. Um, but, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. So this case is really simple. Uh, you literally just pull this like flap back and then you can just pull the cards right out and it makes sense if I maybe unplug, <laughs> unplug a few things. Hi Marley. All right. So here's the card that I pulled out and it doesn't give you too much information about it. Um, it does say. ATI Radeon, so R6 AGP. So I wonder, I don't know, I need to look to some more research as to which exact model this one is, but I know it's for sure uh, 32 megabyte, uh, and then uh, the device manager reports it as a uh, uh, SDR, so single data rate. Anyways, um, yeah, it's definitely well used. And I think this guy here will be a um, a pretty nice addition to the uh, PC. So let's go ahead and get this one put in and uh, take a little bit of dust out of there. There we go. And uh, Much easier when this is on its side and not, not sitting up. All right, boom, is it? Now I just gotta put this thumb screw back in. And uh, done, all right. We got a new GPU in there. So let's, um, let's go ahead and switch this over to uh, VGA. Done. Oh, and let's turn that, this one back up. And put the power back in. And here we go. All right, let's see if, uh, let's see if she boots. Okay, so far, video, perfect. I'm wondering if the drivers will be pre-installed. By Windows XP, I feel like they should be. But we will, we'll see here. Either way, uh, okay, so I doubt they are. Uh, either way, we got the video drivers that we can, um, we can get off the server. All right. Sure. All right, so if we go to, uh, let's look at the device manager first. Uh, the PC is pretty good. I mean, when it's booting, it's, of course, you know, a little slow. I think that system will eventually open here in a minute. I think I can do it this way, too. Um, yeah. Come on.
see that's super snappy. View system information. Damn, this shit just <laughs> it takes forever sometimes. Okay, now, okay, so here we go. Oh, it found it, 9600. And uh, it's installing some drivers on its own. Uh, it's this, there's no Broadcom network um, adapter on this. I don't know why it keeps on thinking there is. All right, device manager. Display uh, adapters 9600, there it is. But that's the Windows driver, so. All right, while we're here, let's. Um, settings. that one honestly I don't know what it, this thing should be running at uh, that doesn't look right nope definitely not good there 1920 by 1080 maybe yeah probably most likely it looks good to me it's a little small but wow what the hell is going on here all right, so let's get the catalyst drivers installed. I think those would be the best. So um, uh, let's open up. All right, let's try to log into my uh, my NAS. Alrighty, and then um, uh, where did I put this? All right, so we got that, and uh, we'll copy it over to downloads. Sure, over the network, nice, and uh. Let's install it. I think this is the latest version, the Catalyst, uh, that supports the 9600 uh, XT. So let's install it. And I think my other dog has just come down here. If you heard all that thumping. There she is. All righty. Kind of funny going with the uh, ATI because all my GPUs, as of recently, on my modern PCs that I've actually built, I've always gone with AMD just because they're more reasonable in price. All right, next, and then of course now I go with ATI here too. Uh, install allow users install. Uh, sure. But, um, Marley, Marley, sorry. All right, catalyst registration. Right. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, it's done. Alrighty. Well, I mean, if it was that easy, then I don't know. Did it do it right? Control panel. System. Okay, well, it's still showing it there. So. All right, let's do a restart. Let's restart it. That's pretty easy. I was um, expecting a headache or the GPU to not even work, but hey. So 
So yeah, now with this one, I guess save it, sell it. It's probably not worth much. Maybe 20 bucks on uh, on eBay. We'll see. But I think that'd be the last um, the last upgrade or change to this PC that I'm doing. Because now I'm starting to spend more than what I paid for it. So. to turn this off figure out how to get this search desktop from service pack 3 to uh, to go away all right yeah I have no clue if there was if catalyst is even like how it used to or how it is now if there's a if there's a big program that you um, can use to manage your your uh, settings but yeah, let's go back to device managers uh, one last time. Hardware device manager. Here we go. That's what I need. All right. So um, 9600 properties. It's working. Driver. Okay. ATI. So it must have uh, loaded, but man. All right. So let's. Let's try something here. So, uh, let's go back to the okay, and um, all right, so here are some games that I've got. And uh, let's open up another one, go to uh, documents, downloads. All right, let's get rid of this one. All right, what should we try here? Um, uh, that's Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Unreal Tournament. Let's try this one. And you know what? Let's see, I bet you we could launch this over the, um, over the network, but I'm just going to copy it here and um, let that do its thing here. We'll try to install it. So I have this on here to install stuff, um, Win CD EMU. Supposedly all you do is double click on the ISO and it mounts it and you're in business, but we shall see. All right. All righty. And um, doo -doo 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 -doo. so here's the CD key. Let's see if that works. And uh, all right, double click on it. And uh, let's install it. And uh, next, yes. All right, so what does it want? Minimum system, Pentium 2400 megahertz. I had a 450 back in the day. 128 megabytes of RAM, we got that. All right, I think we're good. Next, CD key, okay. Uh, Alt tab. All righty. So I, uh, of course, I'll tab. All right, so. When I 
if I copy the whole thing. No, <laughs> of course not. All right, so w, WG32, we'll just do it this way, WG3. Wow, this is pain, a painful experience, DJTH. P, or sorry, yeah, PRB7. And what's it, F7, FB, Facebook, FB, all right, of course. Next. So did it give me an error right there? And then now it lets me install it? I don't know. All right, let's see how well this goes. Probably should get Fraps installed on this too, which I don't have a copy, so I won't do it in this video. But we'll see, we'll get this installed. Hopefully it launches and we can play it for, for a minute and um, that'll be it, so. But yeah, this has definitely been an experience uh, messing with this PC. Okay, recommend settings, okay. Would you like to play shortcuts? Uh, sure. I don't want to register. Finish. Okay, well, that key might not be valid. All right, so, uh, all righty, let's try it. Single player. So the monitor is still running at do not load open GL subsystem. Of course. Okay. Um, maybe let's try another one. Unreal tournament. What what do we have in here? C D uh, we got a, uh, of course it's zipped. I can't unzip it on here. So, uh, Quake 3, I think is all multiplayer. And of course it's, <laughs> oh, it's compressed. We can uncompress it. That's, that's easy. All right. Cannot load OpenGL subsystem. And, uh, let's see. Let's see if this will even, how long this will take to open. Okay, million. Um. Not load open GL subsystem. All right. In the meantime, Hot Wheels stunt track driver. Let's see. Maybe. I don't know. I still just find like copying things over the network on Windows XP is uh, to me just so freaking cool. Even though it's not even that old, you know, watching vid videos of people doing this in DOS. But back in the day, I didn't have a network set up at the house. We had one PC, you know. The coolest thing I ever did was uh, burn a disc over our network when we did have two PCs. So I had the one CD in the, the CD-ROM drive uh, on one PC, and I burned it to the burner on my PC in my bedroom over the whatever. It was Cat 5e probably at the time. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so uh, let's try this one again. Let's try this one for the first time, I should say. Oh, okay, so it did. There we go. It did work.
Maybe that maybe that's the issue. Maybe you didn't mount it. I have a feeling this would play no issues on this PC. Um, so don't try driver. And this still is not loaded, which is interesting. Okay, Let's see if this one works. Hey. So I'm pretty sure I remember playing this as a kid. You had the track, it's in like someone's bedroom. And can you skip through this? I don't know. space sorry if you were enjoying that all right so what's this here build some race maybe i don't know uh, all right let's choose the bedroom like i remember no nothing i have no clue what i'm doing all right we picked that one there we go Oh, shoot. Is there even brakes? There we go. Oh, I see. It's all the arrows. Oh, kitty. Man. Well, I guess that's it. Buy Windows XP, P, or sorry. Buy an old school PC, put Windows XP on it, and play Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver. But definitely um, kind of bringing me back to my childhood here. So we'll get we'll get some other games going um, in a different video. We'll see how how well this thing really does. But that's it. Yeah, thanks for joining me, and I hope you uh, you liked it.